So the clown show over at Funimation continues as Jamie the Heifer Marky has had a complete meltdown on Twitter yet again attacking anime fans because they have criticized her over pushing politics in anime, which nobody wants. You know, Jamie, you mess with the wrong fandom. Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So, Jamie the Heifer Marky. She's been known for attacking anime fans, for going on rants on Twitter all the time, trolling anime fans, calling anime fans incels. I mean, this woman is a complete monster. And she's no different than the clowns over at Funimation. This article is by Bounding Into Comics. Funimation script writer Jamie Markey blames criticism of edited dubs on misogyny. I have a V. Deal with it. Yeah. Jamie Markey is trying to victimize herself. She's trying to look like she's innocent, that she hasn't done anything wrong, when, like I said, she attacks anime fans all the time. You know, she tries to push her agendas all the time. This woman is a terrible person. And she's sitting over here stating that her criticism is blamed on misogyny. Oh my dear God. A recently resurfaced recording shows Funimation voice actor and script writer Jamie the Heifer Markey disingenuously attributing criticism of the studio's questionable dub scripts to outright misogyny. So just remember, everybody, if you criticize Jamie Markey in her eyes, that makes you a misogynist. I mean, seriously, she tries to find whatever she can to attack anime fans. She uses whatever she possibly can to attack them, but then tries to act like she's a sweet little angel when she's really a devil in disguise. But then again, there's no disguise there. Everybody can just see it. <laughs> you can tell. She's a uh, terrible person. The clip resurfaced by Twitter user Slave of Suzumiya was originally recorded during the Women of My Hero Academia panel at the 2018 Summer Sack Anime Convention and features Marky Mount Lady alongside fellow series VAs Caitlin Glass, Mina Ashido, Moronica Rial, Sue Asui, Morgan Berry 13, and Trina Nishimura as Kyoka Jiro. And continuing on, in their tweet featuring the clip, Slave of Suzumiya praised Marky and stated that they wouldn't have the guts to just lay it out there, followed by a mic drop. Well, Jamie just does whatever she can to try to make sure that her agendas get out there and attack anime fans. That's what she does. I mean, Jamie Markey, you know, she does all these things, and it's disgusting behavior. I mean, a voice actor, which, you know, People like voice actors. You know, there are some really good voice actors out there, and then there are just trash like Jamie Markey, where she has a statement like this. Thank you for sharing this. I think the reason I have guts is because I didn't have any other choice. Yeah, she apparently, in her opinion, didn't have any other choice, and so she thought that stating anybody that criticizes her is misogynist. Yeah, no, Jamie, it's not because you're a woman that people don't like you. It's the fact that you're a terrible person. That's why people don't like you. It doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman. If you go around and treat people awful, well, how would you expect them to like you? You know what I mean? Like, and that's what Jamie Markey does. Goes around and attacks people on Twitter all the time. How in the world is anybody going to like you, Jamie? And it's not because you're a woman. And that's the argument she's trying to make here, which is absolutely ridiculous. In the specific clip, a fan approaches the panel to ask Marky specifically on her thoughts regarding how Funimation has come under criticism for how they chose to adapt their scripts for a couple of shows. And after expressing how he personally feels that a lot of that I feel is directed at you unfairly, asked Marky if she would like to respond to that kind of criticism. After first dismissing the dub criticism as unnecessary hate, Marky asserts that these scripts only receive backlash due to her being female, stating, I have a V. Deal with it. <laughs> Look, that's not the reason, and you know it, Jamie. You know you're pushing your politics. You know you're attacking people. That's why people have an issue. Honestly, that's the truth, said Marky. I am a funny woman. We are all talented, funny, powerful women. We are out here. It's going to happen. Deal with it. Yeah, I don't think you're funny, Jamie. I don't think you're funny at all. In fact, I think you're an idiot. I think you're a clown. Just saying. Marky adds to her response by painting her critics as um, spicy, frustrated incels, telling them, I'm sorry you're not getting laid. It's not about you. Move on. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is the argument she always goes to every time. You would think that us anime fans like that. Of course we don't. This is why people like the sub over the dub. That's my reaction, the actress concluded. 
After her initial response to Slave of Suzumiya, Marky would proceed to discuss the criticism she received during her time as a scriptwriter for Funimation. Okay, so this is what she states here. When Gamer Gators attacked me over a line of present school that I neither wrote nor directed my career as I know it was over, everything I wrote was gone over with a fine tooth comb looking for any changes that could be twisted to an agenda I never had. Oh god, of course. She would also try to say that everything was Gamergate. Of course she would. You know, she uses whatever excuse she can come up with to try to attack anybody she can. And, you know, here she is again, trying to make herself look like the good guy. Whenever she is the problem. If <laughs> she's the one that's attacked people. I mean, seriously. You're Jamie. Nobody's buying it. Nobody. Nobody's followed for this. The days of adapting for shows like Panty and Stocking... Hitalia, Spice of Wolf, and others were gone. There seems to be little complaints the shows I wrote before Prison Skull came out after that. Well... However, Marky failed to either mention or recall that anime fans were not outraged at a necessary localization in Prison School, but rather a ham-fisted and poorly aged reference to the Gamergate controversy. And that's not the only time that Funimation has done that, because they also did it in Dragon Maid as well. So they've done it more than once. <laughs> this is not the only time. Jamie then responds, Instead, I am relentlessly criticized. If you follow anime, you've seen the memes that the changes I've made for adaptation. And while there has been some support, I've been generally left to deal with the harassment alone. It's been my problem. God, Jamie Marky is a vile person. You know, here's the thing. You know, she also has gone around and stated that the agendas were all hers. Now, of course, she was trolling, but still, she's done that. But she doesn't bring that up. You know, you're not fooling anyone, Jamie. Because if you look at these tweets from last year, at around this time, ironically enough, she stated, Just a reminder, if there's any line changes in any anime, any script, anything ever that offended anyone who unironically uses the term SJW and feminist agenda, I wrote them. I wrote them all. I have the best agendas. So, Jamie was going around attacking anime fans last year about how people were not a fan of the politics being pushed into anime. She continued to go on to say, regardless, it's me. It's all me. You know, that's what she was doing. Another one right here. Great point. I'll be sure to put all agendas ever in all lines ever, especially the scripts I don't work on. And also get extra agendas and political commentary. Thank you for the suggestion, and you shouldn't at all be embarrassed. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Jamie, you go around and you attack people all the time. People are not a fan of this. People don't like this. And people do not want to see this stuff in anime. Here's another one. I wish I could tag everyone I just blocked because holy shit, these people need some help. You sure about that, Jamie? Because if anything, you need to be put in an asylum. She's a hack activist. Countless hack activist. And this is what she does. We also can't forget one huge statement she made about Vic, like this one. Yes, I want this head. I want his balls. I wanted to feel an ounce of pain he's caused others. And then epic joke on it. I want you to take his D out of your ear so you can actually hear reality. But, you know, that's just me. See, these are the things that she says. This is what she does. And she tries to play like she's the, you know, quiet, nice little angel. Yeah, sorry, Jamie. You're not fooling anyone. I received relentless hate for a handful of lines I wrote years ago. Overall, that's less than 1% of the lines I have ever written while adapting scripts for anime. Statistically, their complaint should be a compliment. 99% is a high approval rating. And this is the thing. You know, all these clowns of Funimation, you know, these are the people they have working for them. You know, people like Jamie Markey that's going to go over there and attack any anime fan that doesn't agree with her. You know, or her agendas. I mean, th this is what I'm talking about. I mean, <laughs> you know, Funimation is not the company it once was. And I think people can clearly see that. So then she went on to state, It had also been made clear to me that if I did stand up for myself and refuse to take the harassment like a good girl, I would no longer have a job. Meanwhile, the harassment grew. I was in a show that used the term SJWs. The harassers assumed I must have been behind it. The voice actress clarified that she did not write or direct that show, but stated that she was the one who received death threats and was the one targeted in a continued public campaign of harassment. 
Now, here's the thing. Whether or not she wrote it, I don't know. But the thing of it is, is that Funimation is clearly pushing agendas in here. We've seen them censor anime multiple times. We've seen them alter things. We've seen them push in their political agendas. And, you know, it's been very frustrating to see that. Fans are not a fan of that themselves. And when Jamie's going around trying to state that she's the one who wrote all agendas, now, of course, she's trolling people. I mean, but it's not funny because she herself is doing it to anger fans. She's trying to intentionally frustrate anime fans. Yeah, you know, it's not a good look. And it shows how immature she is as a person, too. I did not have to write or direct that show. Like, Princess Skull, the writers and directors were men. Oh, of course. That's what she goes to doing next. She goes to saying that men are the problem. I'm serious when I say this. I cannot stand Jamie the Hevermark. I, mm, I do not like her at all. I cannot stand her. And again, I was left to deal with that alone. Believe it or not, I ignore the vast majority of the harassment I receive. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. You go around and you attack people all the time, Jamie. That is a lie if I've ever seen one. I mean, she was one of the people that was front and center attacking anime fans left and right whenever everything had happened with Vic and whatnot. She was front and center. Her and Moronica Rial, they were two of the biggest contributors to attacking anime fans. And then they were all like, well, we're going to repair the anime community. Oh, <laughs> all they did was damage it more. I mean, you know, the damages were really bad with what Funimation Rooster Teeth did when they fired Vic, and it made it worse. And her behavior is completely unacceptable. <laughs> you know, and she tries to act like she doesn't respond to any bad things or that she doesn't let it get the best of her. Well, what is she doing here? She's having a complete meltdown. <laughs> That's what she did on Twitter. Completely went off with this whole entire tirade rant. So if you wonder why I'm so loud, why I fight back, why I scream my opinion, it's because I have to. No, you don't. No, you don't. Otherwise, I won't be heard. Nobody wants to hear you, Jamie. I won't let monsters online and certain elements of the industry make me feel like my voice isn't worthy of being heard. You shouldn't either. I mean, look, nobody wants to hear what Jamie Markey has to say after all the terrible things that she said attacking people, us anime fans. I mean, who wants to be called an incel? Or who wants to be called an ist or a phobe or whatever else Jamie Markey is going to come up with? Nobody wants to hear it. And it's not even true. But of course, she's going to come up with anything and try to make it seem like it's true when it's not. And that's the thing. Anime fans, we are not incels. We are not istrophobic. But of course, Jamie Markey's going to try to make it out that way. Because that's how she is. And she's going to try to deflect from herself and all the bad things she's done to try to make herself look like a good person. Speaking of that, take a look at this. After all the things that she said after the meltdown, this is what she goes on to state. To those who have been supportive, thank you. You kept me from feeling completely abandoned. And I will always be so grateful for your kindness and empathy. I wish there were more people like you in the world. See, you're not fooling anyone with this Jamie the Heifer Marky, so you can take your bullshit and you can get it out of here. Because you're not fooling anyone. This is the thing. Funimation houses clowns like Jamie Markey. You know, there are plenty of people in Funimation that are just like this. And to think, Funimation, they're the people that want to fix the anime community. Yeah, with people like Jamie Markey, yeah, no, they are not the people to try to fix the anime community. Because they're only going to damage it that much further, as you can clearly see. But anyways, let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And make sure you are still subscribed, because YouTube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels. So make sure you are still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Hit the video with a like, and also be sure to share the video on social media. Spread the word and get it out there. It's greatly appreciated, and it really helps out the channel a lot. Also, be sure to follow me on Discord. We have a wonderful community there. Not only that, but it will keep you up to date on when the newest videos will be released. As well as any other upcoming events in the near future. So be sure to follow me on Discord. Discord. The link is in the description down below. But anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow can always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.